In the world of game development, there's always been the debate of which game engine you should use. Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you five reasons why I decided to use Stencil for my upcoming game, Tale and Ale, which by the way, is a mobile turn-based RPG and is gonna be released sometime in the future on Google Play and maybe iOS Store. Stay tuned for that and the five reasons why I use Stencil are coming right up. short disclaimer before I actually begin this video. This is all my personal opinion. I've been using Stencil for a long time and I know its pros and cons and I, I am aware that most game engines have their pros and their cons. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. Number one. The first reason I decided to use Stencil is because Stencil requires no programming experience. And yes, while I do have programming experience, when I started my journey with Stencil, I did not have much programming experience. Stencil is a game engine in which you do not need to code, but you can use this so-called blocks to create the logic for your game. Also, Stencil is how I learned to program games. Because you can right-click on any block of logic and you can see the code behind it. Which brings me to my second point, number two is the programming language hacks. Well, if you know me, you know I'm a hacks fanboy. And you might be wondering, hey, what the hell is hacks? Hacks is an amazing, amazing programming language designed to be extremely cross-platform. Hacks compiles to code in other languages such as Java, or maybe C++, Flash, JavaScript. So a game made in Hex could potentially be exported to all existing platforms such as Nintendo Switch, PS4 and all other platforms existing. Hey, if I wanted to make a game on your grandma's toaster, I could make a game on your grandma's toaster. Unfortunately, I don't believe Stencil has partnerships with PS4s or uh, Xbox or Nintendo, but still, I like to get excited that it could be a thing in the future. In my opinion, Hex is the best programming language in terms of syntax and that means the way you write the code how the code looks how the structures look it has native support for JSON objects which are dictionaries basically if you're used to Python it's very high level which means you do not have to write much code to get something done a lot of it is already done behind the scenes the only thing I don't like about hacks are the semicolons <laughs> oh oh I hate you little bastards I hate you so much. I don't like Unity C Sharp very much, and I believe Hex doesn't even compare to GML. Hex is just much, much better than Game Maker language. Okay, number three. Stencil is extremely easy to use. Stencil's interface is actually super, super simple. Everything is made with the idea that any non-programmer, any person in the world, young or old, can make games. Everything is so damn intuitive. All the UI, the way sprites and actors interact, with each other, the way you make scripts, it all just makes so much sense and if you use Stencil you're never gonna have any problems with not finding a certain way to do something because it's always there because you will always know how to do it. Number four, this is a more personal thing but Stencil works much easier with external files than Unity. I tried at some point to port my game to the Unity game engine but I had some trouble with reading JSON files and loading external images into the game. And I know, yeah, it is very much possible in Unity, but in Stencil, loading an image is just as simple as saying get external image and give the image path, and that's it, you've got the image inside your game. With the JSON databases, I found that really hard in Unity because it did not really have a good JSON library, and because of the way C Sharp interacts with dictionaries and JSON objects, I'm sorry, Unity and C Sharp, it's just a mess. The fifth reason and the last reason I decided to use Stencil for my game is because it gave me the opportunity to build my own game engine. Now, yes, Stencil is already an existing game engine, but unlike Unity or Game Maker Godot, Stencil does not have that many features already implemented. It does not have a particle spawner, it does not really have any way to manipulate UI except for, you know, anchoring some of the sprites on the screen. My journey with Stencil absolutely satisfied my desire to build my own game engine. Even if it was not my game engine from zero, I added lots of features to Stencil 
console which were not there out of the box. I made a particle spawner, I made a UI manager system, I made a custom event system and overall I had lots of fun tweaking and redesigning stencil to suit my own personal needs. And I believe that brings us to my conclusion on stencil. I want to talk about who should use stencil and who should not use stencil. And to me the answer is quite obvious. If you have no programming experience or you're looking to build something really fast without any coding, you should absolutely learn stencil first. Some people recommend Unity, some people recommend Godot or GameMaker, but trust me on this one, if you're a complete beginner, Stencil is gonna make your life so much easier, you're not gonna regret it at all. That's what Stencil is made for. And also, if you're looking to learn how to code from making games, Stencil again is an amazing, amazing choice, because you can also learn how to code with Stencil. The important question for me is will I stick to Stencil in the future? And the sad answer is probably not. In the future I will want to make bigger games, more complex games on which Stencil does not offer me the tools I need to create. However, I am still planning to use Stencil in the future for making small games, for making prototypes. In the future I will probably use Unity, I don't like Game Maker personally, and I've heard good things about Godot, but I haven't really delved into Godot that much. Maybe I'll make a video in the future about Godot and Game Maker and Unity. But until then, if you've gotten so far in this video, thank you so much for watching, and do me a huge huge favor and hit that like button, because it would help me a lot with my content. And if you like this video and the videos like this, if you want more content from me, you can always subscribe and like me on my Facebook page, which I have linked down in the description. Until the next time, my name is Dave W. Have a nice development journey.